So iOS 14.5 has been out for over a month now. You know, some people have seen some drop in results. Others, you know, staying afloat, staying consistent with their KPIs. So today's video will be pretty short and sweet. So all I want to show you is what events you need to set up within your pixel, how to set up your aggregated events, you know, what are aggregated events and essentially what is also the value optimization event that you should start testing out with your brand. If you're a Shopify store owner, simply a business owner trying to understand Facebook ads and optimize their Facebook ads strategy, then stay tuned. So my name is Justin. I'm the founder of Wizzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in online growth strategies for e-commerce businesses. Before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. That way you'll know when I upload a brand new video and that way you can be the first to know about those tips that I'll be sharing with you guys across the next couple of weeks. So before we actually get started, one of the first thing you want to do for your brand is to make sure that you verify your domain, which I've shown you how in one of my latest videos. Basically, it was a video showcasing a couple tips on what you should be implementing with your brand. So make sure to check that video out if you haven't yet. But first things first is verifying your domain because you won't be able to add those aggregated events if you haven't done that yet. Now, since all of these changes happened in the past few weeks, you know, already in the past couple of months, Facebook had came out with those aggregated events. So it's not something that's new per se, but definitely something that you want to make sure that you have set up in order to sort of bulletproof yourself with the upcoming updates, you know, that Facebook or iOS and, you know, Apple will make in the near future. So you want to assign events that matter the most to you as Facebook allows you for eight events that you can optimize for. So you really want to make sure that those eight events are events that, you know, you want to prioritize and that you use already within your ads strategy. So in order to do that, you'll want to head over to business.facebook.com forward slash events underscore manager and then you want to basically go to your data sources and for the specific pixel that you're trying to change or set up those events slash aggregated events once you're on there pretty simple you just want to see uh essentially you want to go to aggregated event measurements this is where there's going to be a new uh purple button so all you want to do is click on that and if you haven't touched that yet then you'll see a blue configure web events button which you'll want to click and then once you do it'll bring you to this page over here which is why it is important to verify the domain as mentioned earlier as it will say here essentially if your domain is not verified and won't allow you to configure your events so once you're there domain is verified you see your domain just want to basically hover on top of the zero and click on that and click manage events so that's one thing i also wanted to share with you guys is that you know once you click on edit these events essentially some of your ads may or may not be stopped so your campaigns essentially what facebook says is that it may stop them for 72 hours so essentially just keep that in mind and if you have some campaigns or ads up and rolling then you may want to pause them you know prior to doing that and then resume with your ads in the next couple of days. So now we click on edit and then this is it. This is the disclaimer that Facebook tells you essentially about, you know, you must wait 72 hours to change these events again. So that's also something, you know, once you do this today, you won't be able to change it for the next couple of days. So make sure that you set these right to not, you know, stop you further with your campaigns. So as you see over there, event slots filled zero out of eight. So this is what I meant earlier. You've got eight events that you can sort of benefit from. So you just want to click on the green add event button and then it tells you to choose a pixel or a custom conversion event. So in this case, you just want to choose a pixel. And essentially from there, what we want to do is pick one of these events. So again, this is going to be something up to you, something up to your business type. Uh, but what I'm going to show you here is the general layout that most e-commerce businesses should take and should have essentially as their aggregated events, because we want to take the order in what event is most important to you. So in this case, or in our case, it would be the purchase event all the way to the event that is least important to you, which would be a page view. So on choose event here, I would simply want to click purchase. So if you just want to scroll down, click on purchase, and then this is super important. So value optimization here is, is you know, as Facebook says it, this is how much a customer may spend over a one or seven day window. So essentially this is the, this new optimization event that Facebook has released. And this is definitely something you want to test on your side or that you want to set up at least on here on the aggregated events manager to turn this on. Actually, you have to have at least 
30 purchases register with your pixel. So as you can see, this is a brand new and sort of test pixel that I'm using right now. So I won't be able to turn this on, but what you would normally want to do is click over here on the little off button, turn it on. And essentially it would, it would switch this column over here from one event to four events. So again, this is also something that is not super clear and hasn't really been explained by Facebook much, but to explain this, you know, in, in simple terms, what Facebook does is it takes four out of your eight events slot to prioritize for purchases. So Facebook will spend a little more time to optimize and to understand your purchases rather than other events. So it really will take the time to go out there and gather the right data to make sure that what this, you know, the stats that you see on Facebook are exact and also to bring the best people possible to purchase, you know, if that's the event that you're optimizing for. So highest priority event for sure is a purchase event. Then you want to add your second event, you know, same thing. You choose your pixel, you choose your event. So in there, you know, second one would be initiate checkout. So I think you're getting the gist of it by now, but essentially you want to do for your, uh, it's basically like your funnel. So top of the top one would be, or bottom of the funnel in this case would be purchase. Then you'd want to have initiate checkout, then add to cart view content and page view. So in this case, let me just click initiate checkout for that one. Then let's go, you know, on and on. We want to create again for this one here, same thing. We choose an add to cart. And the last one I'm going to add for now is the view content event. And that should look like it. So essentially you won't be able to add the page view event on here directly. So it just won't pop up, but that's all right. You know, you really want to have those four events right here that I listed. So purchase, initiate, checkout, add to cart, view content as aggregated events. So those are the events to prioritize and definitely the events that you'll need to have the right stats for your ads. Also to really ensure that this works, make sure you have the conversions API turned on and installed on your website. So if you're with Shopify, super easy. All you want to have set up is the maximum setting for Facebook's data sharing. So this is one of your settings in the uh, essentially bottom left of your website dashboard. You'll see Facebook as a sales channel. You want to click on there, go to your data sharing setting and you want to turn that to maximum as this is what's going to allow Facebook to have the right events and, you know, optimize as much and as best as possible for what's currently set up on there. So there are a couple things that are unconfirmed at some point in a sense that both Shopify and Facebook announced upcoming updates on June 30th for these events to make that a little more accurate and help even more, even further with the accuracy of the data and the conversions reporting on Facebook. So that should be good. And that should definitely, you know, boost the results starting there. So still, this is not something that's coming out yet. So we don't know, you know, what to expect, but hopefully this will help even further to have, you know, the right data and basically go back to what we had before previous to this update. I mentioned earlier that I was going to get back to the value optimization event, and this is what I'm going to do right now. So as I mentioned earlier, you can now optimize for a new event called value. So this will, this is what Facebook will do essentially with this event is try and find the people that will get the most or the highest purchases conversion value from your site. So with that, they want to find the buyers that will purchase the most from you so the most qualified and high quality buyers so what facebook does is almost like a lookalike audience as i'll try to find from your already existing pool of buyers you know who are most likely to essentially purchase at a high volume try and match that essentially with people on facebook once they do sort of find this pool of people essentially they'll now uh try and find more people like this so that's why i'm saying it's a little bit like a lookalike but in a sense, um, again, it's not basing itself from your actual data. It's basing itself from what it finds out through Facebook, through essentially its algorithm. It could definitely be a really good thing to try and at least optimize for on your site. So I definitely recommend having, you know, testing this out. So having potentially one campaign running for purchase event and having the same campaign duplicated and running for value. So you can test that out with cold, especially because you wouldn't want retargeting to see, you know, two different campaigns simultaneously. They're, they're just going to be exposed to too many ads. So definitely something to test out with cold and see, you know, how well it works for you. We're currently testing it out for a couple of our clients and we're still waiting and seeing, you know, if it really is worth it, but for sure, test it out. You know, I always say test, test, test. So test as many things as possible and make sure you find what's working best for your brand. Now, if you're an e-commerce business and you're still unsure about the best strategies for 
Facebook marketing for your brand or just marketing in general, essentially, I'd invite you to pencil in a quick 15 minute call with myself that you can book with the first link in the description down below. So just book in that call and we'll see if you'd be a good fit for our e-commerce marketing program. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, we're an e-commerce marketing agency and that's what we do. This is essentially our daily. So helping e-commerce businesses grow with Facebook marketing and just online marketing in general. So make sure to pencil in that call. And on that note, make sure you check out other videos on the channel for more useful tips for your e-commerce business and marketing in general. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. So have a good day and talk to you soon. Bye.